In this video, we'll take a look at some aspects of advanced packaging with design for CR8000. Firstly, we take a look at how package escape routing for all nets can be done, and that can be combined with chip RDL routing, and to finally view and edit them in 3D. Next, we take a look at a wirebound package where the wirebonds have been already generated, and uh, we then manipulate these wirebound structures, fully taking into account any of the DRCs. After that, we'll then move on to the flip chip package where we'll take a look at uh, skew group definitions, which will help us in correcting any length mismatches with the use of the intelligent router. And finally, we'll take a look at the pop architecture where we combine the wirebone and flip chip package together. And we'll see how the design force environment enables an ease of management uh, and connectivity between the two packages and we can also view and edit both these packages together in 3D very easily. So let us move on to the demo. During the initial stages of package design, the DAI team may come up with a particular flow plan and route out the RDL and then pass on the bump map to the packaging team, uh, which then tries and works with that particular bump map to see if they can route out uh, the particular bump map they have received. So during that phase, the major effort is to find out if you can actually escape out the uh, bump flow plan and design for CRE 1000 has a quick way of with just a button click uh, to try and see if uh, the escape routing will work or not. So all of the IOs, the powers and the grounds will be routed out and if we see in 3D they've been routed out to different layers according to strategies uh, you've chosen initially. And not only that, Design Force also has the capability to bring in the uh, chip RDL flow plan in a hierarchically structured manner. So you can overlay the RDL structure on top of the um, routing that you've done and uh, view it all together. So this is pretty straightforward and very easy. Now, to provide you with another flavor of uh, Design for CRA1000's application, downstream you may be considering a package architecture like POP, wherein you have a wirebound package on your left and a flip chip mother package on your right. If we now take a closer look at the wirebound package, CRA1000 not only allows you to create the wirebonds, but also manipulate these wirebonds in 3D taking into full account any of the DRC checks that you may have to deal with and uh, allow for placement along an axis or outside of that particular axis. So with that being said about the wirebound package, if we move to the flip chip package, a lot of uh, product constraints are translated on package into electrical constraints or physical constraints as length matching. CR8000 has something called the skew group which can be defined for a particular bus and then once you do length matching you can discover any particular violation and quickly zone in on the bus which has the error. Then you can use the lengthen tool in the intelligent router to lengthen the particular trace which has the violation to quickly meet constraints and thus improve the efficiency of the design cycle. Now, rather than working with these two package structures separately, CR8000 allows you to bring in both of these packages together and view them at the same time, also in 3D, one package at a time, one layer at a time, or as you choose to wish and manipulate those structures. Viewing system connectivity across the two different packages is also possible, along with DRC checks, thus doing away with complex file management if those two packages were dealt separately in different layouts. So we have seen two different flavors of the application of CR8000 during a product design cycle. On the one hand, we saw an RDL structure being overlaid with escape routing and uh, how that can be done within the CR8000 environment. And with the POP package, we saw how we can combine a flip chip and a wirebound package. And now in both of these cases, 3D viewing and editing is possible within the CR8000 environment.